how do you yeah. tips for teens our age that want to do what you do? I'd say the first part of the answer is going to sound boring and like something you'd rather be done. Yeah. But actually, learning how to write, knowing grammar, there's so many people who want to do this. This is Elise. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi. Mindy, nice to meet you. I'm John. Nice to meet you. Fine. Too. I actually interviewed Tom Mora yesterday. Yeah. He's the head designer of women's at J. Crow. It's about sheer fabrics because people take almost too many liberties when it's this weather out. Right. I think you're lucky too because I think in Miami there's a whole wonderful other scene of wardrobing that you can do there that's acceptable. And I think you can wear like a maxi dress and a, a flip flopless leather. How fashion trends actually happen. Designers do not get into the room all together and discuss that it, 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 it's going it, it, to be it, it, all it. about the pinstripe or bohemian. They're actually a very small group of people who are the you know, top designers in the world. They are all going to the same restaurants, vacation spots, museum exhibits. They read the same books. There are big exhibits on the hunk fashion here in New York. Now they're seeing how cool it was when there were studs on collars and it was rebellious and making a statement. The reason there are fashion trends other than there are different tastes of what looks good is business. And if they are turning out the same thing every year, then you don't need it anymore. So if we've been through a very ladylike period, say, in women's fashion, then it makes a lot of sense to go drastically different to come. How many predictions of next year's style or trends? Since it's a now, do you think it'll go back to girly? I think it will go back to girly. We haven't had a girly moment. We've had a ladylike moment, and that a lot of that came from Mad Men. Generally, it might be the tough girl starting this fall and going, hey, okay, dear. And then you'll see a drastic change to girly. How would you describe Fashion Week to someone who doesn't know what it is? Fashion Week is really kind of like theater, just a lot of shows. Um, so much goes into them. They are productions. But the crazy thing is, they only last 15 minutes. So, a designer who spent three months building their collection, testing everything, making sure the armhole is just right and making sure that the color is exactly what they imagine and they find just the right model to wear it and the castings are all day long and then there's a makeup test and then there's a lighting test. The show itself is only really When you feel like something looks good on you, it could be anything. It could be an ugly, ugly, ugly dress, but if you feel like it looks good on you, you and it will look good and it's sort of, you know, Things that seem like crazy styles, um, like jumpsuit, the romper, hot pants. So you talk about that and it sounds crazy. <laughs> but when you see somebody, and if most people who are wearing it are going to be pulling and tugging at the pant all the time. You're going to see, like, oh, why is she wearing it? But when you see someone who can walk in it and feel like they look good in it, they own it. And I think that that's more than what they're wearing, it's how you wear it. So Biggest piece of confidence. It is. You're wearing confidence. Like a few years back, do you think you'd be doing this right now? I have been doing it a long time. Um, it will, it, I've done it for more than 13 years. So that's kind of hard for me to say, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. Okay, thank you. I'll give you my card in the way.